Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's time for an opening. I placed my very first order with Artisanthropy. Fingers crossed I'm saying it correctly. Um, it's a Canadian yarn company. I've seen a number of channels. Um, I know Bod Bag o Day has opened from them and um, Nicole from Fiber Myalgia Yarn Resin also loves to order from them and find some fabulous deals for her mystery boxes. Um, so I got an email that they were having like a year end, end of year clearance. It was end of December. Um, and then, so they sent out the email and then they said, oh, sorry, we're also going to be out of the office for about a week or two weeks or something. They're going on vacation. So I wasn't expecting any sort of quick movement on this order, but something very strange happened. And I would love to hear from others who may have bought from them because my order came in five different packages and four of them came via Amazon. And I don't mind that they came via Amazon. There was just no notice that they were coming from Amazon. So I wasn't sure when these packages showed up at the door what they were. And you know, I, I might buy a little bit off of Amazon and get a little bit confused as to what might be coming on any certain day. <laughs> So, I guess with any further, without any further ado, let's let's break on into these packages and find out what is what what what's the what here. So, not all of these Amazon they're not balancing. Not all of these Amazon packages are opened because once I figured out what was happening, I just set them aside. Um. Wow, well that bent my fingernail wrong. And that's why we use scissors. That's why I still need to find my scissors. We've been going on far too long with no scissors, haven't we? Also gonna try to be careful with my address on these packages. Okay, so here we have one ball of a Noro. And this is Noro World of Yarn, made in Japan. And this is color for lot A. Hanabatake? Hanabatake? And it is 55% wool. 35% silk, 10% mohair. Oh, this is pretty. They want, um, which ones are millimeters? 4.5 to 5 millimeter needles. And it's a roving style. You can tell me what weight you think this is or no. No. To me, this looks like it roves between a three and a four, but I'm guessing with that, I got two ends right there. Um, with that needle suggestion, they're saying that is a three weight. But look at that. That's so pretty. And it's very nice neutral colors. Although I'm seeing a beautiful emerald green in there and some purples as I dig in the middle. That's lovely. Okay, so this is color four. And I should have gotten two balls of that color. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to have to go trim that nail that I broke. Okay, I'll be back. And I'm back. Emergency manicure complete. Uh, where did I put that? Right here. So, this looks like another ball 
of Noro. So let's see if it's a different colorway. This is color 12. So this has more springy greens, some charcoal -y, some beautiful reds, and then some grays. Let's see. Oh, and there's some browns and oranges in the middle. Oh, and that emerald green is in there again. Oh, this is pretty. So this was color four. This is color 12. I'm wondering if these Amazons, I think these Amazons are all of these balls of Noro. Noro! <laughs> the tiny, tiny bag. This is my second color four. Now these are a little more squishy. Look at that purple, that beautiful lavender in there. That's beautiful. And then I'm guessing this one should be a 12. Oh, I see that red there again. Yep, this is a color 12. Yeah, look at that. And then those beautiful coppers. Oh, that's very pretty. That's gorgeous. I don't think I told you yardage or anything, did I? Um, hand wash. Don't bleach. <laughs> 50 grams, 115 meters in each one of these. Those are lovely. Those are so pretty. Then let's see what is in the rest of the order. It came with a little hole in the front here. Um, not sure if that's UPS or what, but let's see how everything else is. Back. Oh, it's all in this nice. Ooh, oh my goodness, stuff's falling out. Oh, there's zip locked packages. Oh, nice. See all those are zip locked up there? Those are nice and they feel very sturdy. Okay, we've got a business card and basically if you just google the name you'll get there what else do we have here a postcard on the business card they've blocked out their street address so i've wondered if they've changed locations since that was printed. Nice. That's pretty. Okay, so this is a shipping manifest for this. It's not my whole order. And we have, oh wow. Okay, let's see. Start with this bag. We have Magic Shawl Cotton from Estelle Yarns. Look at that, those colors. That's crazy cool. It's um, pinks and blues, and then there's some spring greens in there. Oh, that's pretty. So this is color 915, 915. It's named Marble. And dye lot one, 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, 800 meters in the 200 gram ball. Um, they want 2.5 to 4 millimeter needles, hand wash, don't dry, made in Turkey. There's a free pattern online if you follow this link. Nice, that's pretty. Hand magic shawl cotton, that's nice. That's pretty. I'm not seeing a weight on there, but this is a two. I think this is going to be a a two uh, two hundred grams, eight hundred yards. That's got to be like a two, like the um, Cotton Kings and Sultans, except it is twisted, 
so it looks it looks a little it looks on the one side but i think it's probably a two that's pretty that's very pretty and then we have oh you're down here some sock yarn i got some regia sock yarn this is through the seasons color design line this one is color three eight seven four um, it's named Blue Dahlia on my sheet, and it's lovely blues and greens, different shades of greens. There's kind of an emerald green and a spring green in there, and then there's a navy, a sky blue, a periwinkle blue. That's very pretty. And then there's an off-white or creamy color, so it doesn't go to straight white, I don't think. Um, it's a 100-gram ball, 420 meters, 3.5 ounces, 400 and. 59 yards. What's your fiber content? There you are. Okay, you can machine washable at 40 degrees Celsius. It's a one super fine. They want two to three millimeter needles, which is a US one to three. Uh, yeah. They're basically saying you can, they're saying you can dry it as well. I mean, it's a sock yarn. Where's your fiber content? Seventy-five percent virgin wool, twenty-five percent polyamide. That's pretty. That's pretty. It you can feel it's got the woolies, but it's it's a very nice sock yarn. I'm going to be excited to work that up. And then we got this beautiful earth yarns. Um, hand dyed using natural dyes. This is a harvest DK. This is the color indigo. And look at that lovely inky dark navy indigo blue. There's a bit of tonality, but I mean, it's a hand dyed, so you're going to have that. That is gorgeous. Um, this is made in Turkey. Yardage, 300 yards, 275 meters. It's a 100 gram hank. It's 100% superwash merino. They want US 5 to 7, so a 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter knitting needles, or needles. Machine wash cold, lay flat to dry, color indigo and knit one plant one earth yarns plants a tree in africa for each skein sold in partnership with trees for the future that is a very very nice so as you would guess this is a dk3 weight that is beautiful oh it's so soft it is so soft oh wow I like it a lot. And then I got two of these Manos del Uruguay Allegra Alegria Grande, which means big happy. <laughs> um, Merino Superwash plus polyamide. But look at these purples. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so soft, guys. This is so soft. Um, so what I love about Manos de Uruguay is they literally have the name of the person who dyed your yarn and their location on the inside, which is so cool to me. Um, machine washer, hand wash, and cool water dry flat. 75% merino superwash, 25% polyamide, 197 yards, 180 meters. This is 100 gram skein so this is going to be a four weight oversted and look at that that is so pretty that is pretty Ooh, i'm gonna have some fun with these look at that purple oh i am okay i guess that wooing and eyeing but those are gorgeous those are so pretty let me just live right there for a moment okay so that moves us on to bag two and I have what's in here 
Ooh, look at this. So this is Malabrigo worsted. Um, this is glazed carrot. It is a very, very pretty orange. It, mm, yeah, I think that's about right. It's very tonal. It's lovely. This is a roving style yarn, so it's going to go from thicker to thinner. Um, but overall, it's going to be a worsted, um, hand washed, dry flat, kettle dyed, pure merino wool, um, 210 yards, 100 grams. They want U.S. 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter needles or hooks with it. Oh, this is soft. This is very nice. This is very soft. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. You stay over there. And then I got two of these Cascade yarns in these two lovely colors. I didn't, I don't intend them to go together, but I don't think they're that bad together. I'll say this is Cascade um, 220, hand wash, lay flat to dry. Come on, show me your secrets. Uh, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 220 yards, 200 meters. It's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Uh, they want 4.5 to 5 millimeter needles made in peru they want you to hand wash at 30 degrees celsius don't you dry this i mean this is this is wool oh it's not it's a little stiffer it's a little rougher but this is not this is not bad this isn't no it doesn't smell like wool at all this is nice this is very pretty. So this is burgundy, which is color 2401. And then this one is all the same stats. Um, it's not quite wound as nicely here for us. Maybe it got squished in shipment a little bit. Who knows? Um, but this one is Bristol blue and it's color... 1004. It's a very lovely turquoise. That's very beautiful. Get you over here. And then got just two more things in this baggie. I got some Ella Ray Cash Merino Sport Speckled. Oh my. This is so soft. It's like holding a cloud in your hand. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at those lovely pastel -y colors. Isn't that just springy? That is very pretty. So this is extra fine merino wool and cashmere. Uh, 1.76 ounces, 50 grams, 137 yards, 125 meters. It's 55% merino. 33% acrylic, 12% cashmere. Um, you can wash. Oh, that is the tiniest writing I've ever seen. 30. Don't bleach. I think it's got the line. So I think it says don't dry. Yeah, don't dry. You can dry clean in certain solvents. It's a fine two. That's a nice looking two. That's a very good size two. That's beautiful. Um, needles, they're suggesting a 3.25 to 3.75 millimeter. Uh, those are for knitting needles for crochet hook, 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter hooks. That is pretty. That's pretty, and I've got two of those. Nice! Oh, that's gorgeous. And then the final beauty I have in here is a monochrome worsted from Earth Yarns. And it also says Estelle Yarns, made in Turkey. This is nice and soft. Oh. So wait, what is this one? Okay. 
This on my sheet is saying colorway emerald. Look at those beautiful greens. That is gorgeous. Um, so this is hand dyed extra fine merino, 100% extra fine superwash merino. It's a worsted weight, 200 meters, 100 grams. They want four to five millimeter knitting needles. Um, wash at 30 degrees. Don't iron. You can dry clean. Don't you bleach this. They're saying color 4065. But like I said, the sheet says emerald. And again, it's got the plant a tree in Africa when you buy it. Oh, that's lovely. I just love all the shades of green in that. That is gorgeous. Oh, man. That's pretty. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for looking at these lovely yarns. I thought, I don't have the prices here, but I remember it being very, very, very reasonable for these very, very nice high-end yarns. I can see why Miss Nicole is such a fan of theirs. And, um, yeah, let me know if anybody's ordered and had the Amazon connection with them. Because that did, it left me a little weird, because, like, I was expecting them to be out and then to get some yarn and I opened it up and I didn't know it was coming from Amazon. That, that shook me a little. Like I wasn't sure where anything was coming from after that point, but I never reached out. So maybe had I reached out, they would have explained. I'm not sure, but I'm very happy with the product. I think it's lovely, lovely yarn. All very nice, all very beautiful, and I cannot wait to start playing with it. But I will see you all tomorrow for my Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight drawing. So please get your last minute entries in. I am going through and feverishly making the um, slideshow. Bye-bye. <laughs>